today I'm going to be doing a foundation routine video where you guys are showing you my updated foundation routine and yeah so just keep watching to see how I do it. Okay so the first product that I use is the Laura Mercier Undercover Pot 2. It has two concealers on the inside of it. One is a salmon colored concealer and the other one's just like a normal concealer and then it's got a concealer setting powder in the bottom of it. So I just take the salmon color and I put it in the shadow of my dark circles. And I do that to both eyes. After I apply that to both of my under eyes, I take the setting powder in the bottom of it, take my Sani Kesha Kabuki, and just lightly take the little tiniest dab and then set. Under I my take eyes. my Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer. Um, I'm in the 125. Fair, and I take this and I put it right below where I put the other concealer in like a triangle shape. Cover up any blemishes. Then I usually bring it down the center of my nose onto my chin right here and then whew, put it a lot on my forehead this is a concealer and highlighter shade or whatever in one so it does a really good job at highlighting the face as well and then I just take my Real Techniques expert face brush and I buff it in. Now some days I am not when I want to be quick I literally just do this and then put a powder my powder on top and it pretty much just gives like a nice coverage it's not like super full but it's enough and then it's just enough to, you know, run and run around if I don't feel like wearing as much makeup that day. But the next step I do is, since I mentioned in my skincare video, I have gotten a lot drier skin lately. Things have been weird. I've always used a powder and then before um, the, my face started getting really oily, I used a powder and the powder just looked really cakey. It clung on to my dry skin. And the same thing with my foundation. So I worked that out by taking a little bit of my moisturizer. I take like a little amount, put it on the back of my hand. Take my concealer, which is the CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous 3 in 1 Foundation. I'm in the shade 805. And this is great because it has SPF 20. And I just squirt some of that. Mix it together on my hand, and it makes it sort of like a BB cream. And then I just apply this like this. Make sure I bring everything down my chin so there's no blending issues. And you can really feel it moisturizing. My skin, just that extra step, more than just putting moisturizer on. And it really helps to make sure that this foundation doesn't stick to any dry patches. Then if I just need a little bit extra coverage, I just take some of the foundation on its own and just squirt a little bit more. 
and just cover if I do need any more coverage. This is a quite a nice coverage foundation. I really like this. And as you can see, by adding the moisturizer in, it gives more of a dewy sort of finish. And if you like that, that's awesome. But having oily skin for years, I'm not a huge fan of the dewy. So I do use a powder, and I love using a powder. And when I found my newly found dry skin, um, it really kind of made me sad that I couldn't use a powder because it was just turned out looking so bad. So so adding a moisturizer into my foundation makes it look a lot better so that it doesn't stick to any dry patches or anything like that and then I can still use my powder. So then I just take my Revlon Photo Ready Powder and my Sonny Cash Color Bookie Brush, can't speak. Um, I'm in 010 Fair Light in this Photo Ready Powder. And I just take some of it and dab it all over my face. It does give quite a nice bit of coverage. And I said before that I'm not a huge fan of this, but actually um, I quite love it. Um, just patting it in and using it to set is really nice. And if I just want to wear concealer with the powder over it, that's really nice too because it's just easy and it gives quite a bit of coverage. I do need to use a moisturizer if I'm going to just use concealer. I will put a lot... Um, more moisturizer on. I won't just typically I would use this simple skincare moisturizer in the morning like I showed in my morning skincare routine but if I was planning on just wearing some concealer and powder I would take this, this is my coconut organic coconut oil I would use this as a moisturizer in place of this simple one that I typically use because it, this just gives a lot more moisture and it helps with the dry patches and stuff so I can just use a concealer and a powder. And this is really, really nice. I love this coconut oil. I use it for a lot of things like you can see in my nighttime skincare routine. And this is really great. It's my favorite. Spectrum Organic Coconut Oil. That's what I would recommend. And yeah, so pretty much that is my foundation routine. The only other thing that I do use is the Insta Age Rewind thing here, concealer. And I use this just after I do my eye makeup, just to brighten up under my eyes, clean up any fallout that there was, or if I had to wipe away some makeup, you know, just cover that up a little bit. And I just apply that just like this under my eyes at a triangle. And yeah, that's pretty much my updated foundation routine. I really haven't changed it too, too much. I just, I still use the same foundation. I just like to mix in the simple night cream with my foundation to just give it a nice, dewy finish so that I can use my powder and so that it doesn't cling to any dry patches. And since I do use a night cream as my day cream, I'm, I really like that this has SPF 20 in it because since I'm using a night cream it doesn't have any SPF in it. So that's really nice and for the days that, like I said, for the days that I don't wear full coverage foundation and just use my concealer, I will use my coconut oil in place of that moisturizer. Um, yeah, so that is my updated foundation routine. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you want to follow me on any of my social media sites, you know where to find me. Beauty is for everyone with the four being a four and the one being one. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!